smoke. The smoke is very, very thick, even in the uh, helicopter this evening. <clears throat> and, uh, of course, making it difficult to see through there. But you can, uh, the backlight from the actual fire, you can actually see uh, the, uh, the structures, at least the outlines of the structures down there. And then, of course, the power lines that are in the area. 2,800 folk in this, uh, in this general neighborhood without power this evening probably not helping the situation <clears throat> and then of course you've got a, a home right there burning and then right next door you see uh, a house still standing apparently it looks like uh, nothing's burning too close to it so it just shows you that every now and then there'll probably be a piece of property saved but that building right there just going up this evening we're over here off Cuesta Verde at the side street um, from Fairview. Behind me, it, it looks to be what was once two homes right next to each other. Uh, both of them, nothing more than ashes, uh, a chimney, mailbox. That's it. It's all burned and it just continues to burn. Uh, the fire seems to be contained pretty close in here, so it's not going off into any of the trees or vegetation. The smoke's a lot thicker in this area. Uh, looking down the street, we see quite a few cars uh, lined. So people just, they got out, they left everything behind. They left their homes, their belongings, their cars, and just tried to make it to safety. It's, it's really heartbreaking to look here and see these two homes and to know that uh, this place where people called home, it, it was their, their safe place is no longer here. It's gone. You can see the fires just ripped through them all. Um, as I mentioned earlier, some of the homes, it, the fire skipped over miraculously right before this area to get here from closer to the actual start of the fire. We found a house that didn't get touched by the flames. So it kind of indiscriminate in the way that the fire went down the hill and, and attacked certain houses. These two, not so lucky. Yeah, well, that's a good point, and we see that with a lot of different fires, but especially wind-driven fires where, you know, we were talking about that earlier. You'll see, like, a, a house that's perfectly fine standing there, and uh, can, you, can you see an actual path, or were, was it sort of spotting ahead of and jumping over some houses? It doesn't look like there was a clear path. I mean, it hopped over some of the houses. Some lawns don't even look touched, but the, the one house that we passed, the trees in front of it, um, were all very hot red in the center of them. So it, it looked almost like the fire um, came off a house, rode along those trees, and then hopped back into the path of some other houses here. So uh, it just grabbed onto whatever it could and then just ran down the hill. It hopped over some of the houses. Some lawns don't even look touched, but the, the one house that we passed, the trees in front of it, um, were all very hot red in the center of them. So it, it looked almost like the fire um, came off a house, rode along those trees, and then hopped back into the path of some other houses here. So uh, it just grabbed onto whatever it could and then just ran down the hill. It's a different story now. I'm standing right next to these burned houses that are still burning, and you can breathe a lot easier. Obviously, the, the smoke's still thick in the air. Uh, kind of hard on your eyes, but over the course of the night, I've watched this fire go from raging, uh, just relentless, uh, attacking everything in sight, to now kind of letting up. I look off in the distance, it's dark now. It, it was that I could see just this haze of red smoke everywhere. Now you, ca you can't see anything. There's, there's not even those pockets of fire anymore in the distance that I was seeing earlier. So a lot of that has calmed down uh, anymore. It's just kind of uh, burning smaller amounts um, in these homes that have, have just been burned to the ground and in pockets along the roadways you can see in the soil um, that, that there's steam and, and there's smoke there. Um, but a lot of it has cooled off throughout the night. Pockets along the roadways you can see in the soil 
um, that, that there's steam and, and there's smoke there. Um, but a lot of it has cooled off throughout the night. Obviously, a lot of devastation and homes burned and a lot of people wondering what happened to their houses. Uh, but it seems to be cooling down for now. All right, Asia Gore, thank you very much.